So before posting my statement, I was kind of scared that I would receive some backlash because, uh, I don't know, I posted it after losing and after signing to an org. So I was kind of scared of, of doing it, but I also felt like I needed to. But after seeing that my fans or any, everyone were really supportive, it really made me feel better. And I just want to say that I appreciate every, every single one of you who were patient during my break. And, and yeah, just thank you so much for supporting me. Personally, I really want to win this tournament because, you know, I had to take a long break and I stopped playing, I stopped competing for like three months or something. And in my last tournament, I played four, which for my standards is not that good. So I've been constantly thinking that I'm washed or I'm not as good as I was before. So I, I really want to win this tournament because I want to prove that I'm still among the best players. So. I don't know what's gonna happen, but like, I just hope I can win. Fargo is is not your typical player who will be biting with an air dodge every time you ask for it. But, oh, oh wow, what a what a read of the century. I'm Cloud doesn't have the best recovery, but Spargo makes it look godlike. I love the creativity from Spargo. You talked about his creativity as a player too, right? Just how much of a boon it is to him, especially in those combo games. It is do or die now. It has to have that opportunity to fight solid even footing on last oh, stop. But you won't get it because Spargo's showing off. Face Clan's prodigy does it again. Been to his tournament main stage was a, a year ago. I was really close to winning, but in grand finals I had to play against Leo. I won the first set, but then it was game five and I was really close to, to winning, but he just, just made a comeback and I lost. But I got second, which is well, a really good result, but I'm looking to get first this year. I feel like the only player who can beat me is Slide. Like, I feel like there's more players who can beat me, but like the only one that I'm scared of is Slide because he's been doing pretty well in last tournaments and and he's number one seed for this tournament, so like he's projected to win, but I, I still feel confident. Like, I still feel like I can win. My fan base has been pretty supportive. Like now that I'm back, they are all excited to like watch me compete again. And I just want to say, I'm trying to do my best now. Like, I'm trying to make you proud. Yeah, the way Spargo is approaching this right now, oh, it's just, man. it's just a masterclass in execution at this point. I wasn't sure how that interaction was going to unfold. Oh, oh, and the up smash. Yeah. Oh, oh, my, my God. God dude. He's game of watch. Oh, 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 and he knows. I, bro, we just got to call him the executioner at this point because he he's taking off heads. He shook his head no after that, too. Like, Spargo is never satisfied with anything but perfection. This kid is incredible. He's just been all Spargo. Oh, oh, my God. God. Put the key away. We knew that your birthday was, was last week. Um, and we were gonna ship this to you, so it got there on time, but uh, we thought instead we should hand it off in person. Especially as like a little buff, you're going into top eight. These, Thank uh, you. It, it will help you perform better. <laughs> Let me know how you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> the custom phase slippers. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm winning. I'm definitely winning with this. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty confident now. I'm in top eight winner side, and I feel like I can win the whole tournament. So my next opponent is gonna be quick and he beat me last time, so it's gonna be kind of hard. But I think I got it. Like I'm just gonna try to like study some old dogs I have and then just try to to play as usual. I I know I can win. It's the last time these two played was game five last hit at Summit. Collision, it was actually a grand finals reset. I think Tweak either 3 0 or 3 1. And then it was kind of the reverse. Like Spargo kind of took over in the second set. It's actually, an so opportunity to maybe get that main stage title. But he's got to get through Tweak first, and that is no easy task. Spargo in rhythm. Oh, no! no. He saved him! Oh, no! Oh, he just can't wait his limit! He's done! He's done! He's done! He's done! Oh, Spargo, yeah, clearly some frustration and some, something had happened. Oh, the, the AirPods, AirPods are gone. Oh, I get him some new AirPods. Jump the ledge, that's gonna be a punish right there. Uh -oh. Spargo with a rare miss with limit. Oh, oh my I God. think that's gonna be that's it. it. Yeah, that's yes. it. Into the blast zone. Very well played by the Diddy Kong player. Tweak moving on. Every time I lose, 
I just like try to like go somewhere to be alone and just think about what I did wrong. Be like, okay, I can still win. I just like, I just need to play as usual because I also knew I was not my best at versus Tweak because I don't like making excuses, but my headphones start to stop working mid game. So through game two, I got destroyed because of that. So. And then uh, after I lost, I was just pretty upset. I was mad. Like, I was not upset that I lost. I was just mad that, that my headphones didn't work. Anyone that has like a really good drop zone option you want to reverse that out. Oh my goodness, Fargo with an immediate answer to start this set off the down air dunk. Away with a quick 3 0. Wait. This All right, this is where Karama can. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh. Never mind. Oh, 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 he no. turned the heat off. Oh, so it's it. That's wow. it. <laughs> a little lighter. These limit options are going to get the KO even earlier. Oh my goodness, what are you swinging at? It definitely hits a Spargo underneath that platform. Living kind of on brawl time, going for the way lower. Oh, oh yeah. Spargo looking so clean in this bracket, especially against the best player in America and just swiftly dismantling. And if you're Big D, you got the stock regardless here and you want to try and tag on as much damage as possible and look at the execution coming out from Spargo. Oh no, the deep edge guard perhaps. But drop. Oh yeah. my goodness, and sniped out the correct one. Spargo, you are actually insane at this game. What an edge guard. Never think about what's gonna happen after a set or if you win or lose. I just try to focus on the game itself. Don't think about anything else. At first it was just like, okay, I'll just keep playing and see what happens. Like going through with no expectations. But after... After play against Light, uh, I was like, okay, maybe I can win. Spargo is, has conditioned Tweak to exactly what he wants, and is just getting so much damage racked up before, so not gonna do it, but you gotta imagine that you almost need a miracle for Tweak to bring this one back. Oh, that backer was so close to connect. Take the down. Tilt is going to connect, and the crowd popping off here. We have a bracket reset. Yeah, I've mean, seen Spargo clutch out so many different scenarios. Uh -oh. Spargo is very close to clutching this one out and bringing it to a game five situation. I'm so surprised because that's that Spargo staying in the back air still finds it though. Still tacking on even more damage on the tweak. Another double jump back air. You're going oh my. so deep off stage, but the barrels is going to go ahead and get the stock trip, but you're still in a really bad spot if you tweak. Yeah, essentially his last stand, right? Last stock of the tournament here for Tweak. Spargo's still rocking too. Oh my god, that is touch. it! Jesus Christ, I am hitting the game! Finishing touch, finishing tournament! That man, Spargo, is your main state 2022 champion! They played 10 games back to back to back, and Spargo was the one that was barely able to etch it out at the very end. When Smash Bros. 2 got cancelled, I was like, okay, so Main Stage is gonna be my last tournament of the year. I didn't treat it like a normal tournament anymore. I kept in my mind that it was the last tournament, so I wanted to win the last tournament. And that's what I did. Personally, it was a really big win for me because it made me realize that I'm still good. Like, it made me realize that I still got it, so I saw that I was washed or I saw that I wasn't as good as before. So winning this tournament just proved me that I can still like be among the best players. Knowing there are people better than me just motivates me to like try to improve and I know that I can go way farther than I currently am. So next year I'm really motivated to try to attend every major and try to get the number one rank. Champion of the Scuff Invitational, Spargo taking two tournaments in a row.